Hello everybody and welcome back to more Let's Play Morrowind with Andil. And uh, yes, we have just made it to Balmora finally. And um, we had a little little rant about the physics of... Uh, oh, what are those called? I can't even remember what, they're, what the name of them is. Um, oh boy. Well, this is a great start. Let's see. What, what is the name? Silt Strider, right? That's what these things are called? Yes, a silt strider. We had a little, <laughs> we had a little uh, rant about the physics of silt striders and how I I feel like they probably wouldn't um, be physically possible unless, of course, they had a hollow carapace or something along those lines. I don't remember the full of it. Um, I I will admit I was a little bit drunk at the end of the last video. <laughs> um, yeah, I made I. I made a little bit of a mixed drink last time, uh, between, you know, whenever I, you know, stopped the recording for a moment and, uh, got pizza, I guess. And I made a little bit of a mixed drink that was, um, a lot stronger than I was expecting, and, uh, yeah, after a few sips, it was actually, it was actually do doing quite a bit to me. <laughs> yeah, after the recording, um, I didn't really notice how drunk I was until after the recording, and I, you know, went to stand up, and... And that was a, a little bit of a difficulty, but besides that, we're back, and uh, yeah, we're here in Balmora, because we're here to see a man of the name of Caius Cosades, and probably joining some guilds. How's it going, Mr. Halalu Guard? How you doing? I'm an officer of the Imperial Law, move along. Are you an officer of the Imperial Law? You look like you'd be more of um, the Dunmer Law, but uh, what do I know? I don't really know. Yeah, I don't know if there's, like, I don't really know the laws and whatnot of Morrowind, like, do the cities rule under Imperial Law, or are they more based on what houses control the city? Because, you know, this is obviously, like, the great house Halalu, who's controlling the city. I don't really know. I don't really know. We need to find the South Wall uh, Corner Club. Have I pronounced that correctly? Yeah, South Wall. South Wall is a working class corner club in Balmora, east of the Odai River, on the south end of Labor Street, owned by Bacolus Colossius. Bacolus, Bacola Colossius is the owner and proprietor of South Wall, a working class Balmora corner... Okay, thank you. Pretty much the exact same thing, just the other way around. Uh, Alright, east of the Odai River. Right, so we are west of the Odai River, so that would be on the other side. Obviously, I do know where this is if you've watched my previous Let's Play and I've, you know, done this main quest, uh, or at least I've done the beginning of the main quest a couple of times. So I'm fairly familiar. And to my surprise, I actually noticed that I had like 170 hours in this game. And um, I didn't think I put that many hours into the game already, but that being said, it is a pretty slow paced game, you know. I mean, we are now four episodes into the Let's Play, and we're just now getting to, like, the first city. The first proper city, anyway, so... I did just notice my health was a little low. So, um... If I could not fail at casting, please. Thank you. Alright. Now... Let's see. I guess we'll just get Skeleton at the ready. Uh, I believe... Oh, wow! How convenient! Ha ha ha! I had no idea this was here. All right, um, we might as well rent a room while we're here. Actually, wouldn't be a bad idea. Satilde, oh, please open your eyes. All right, it's a little strange having your eyes closed. What do you want? Um, where is Bacola Colossius? He's the owner. Must be around here somewhere. Okay, I guess that's fair enough. Uh, what do you know about Caius? That old sugar tooth? I'm not sure where he li he's living now, but ask Bocola Closius, the owner, he'll know. Alright. Alright, I see how it is. I see how it is. You can barter. You'll have to get rid of that moon sugar if you want my services. I don't want any trouble. Alright, fine, fine, fine. I will get rid of the moon sugar. It's a little odd, because I'm pretty sure... Yes? Pretty sure you are Thieves Guild, aren't you? 
I'm like 99% sure this is you're you're part of the thieves guild. So it's a little strange that you have any issue with that, but maybe you're not. I don't know. All right, well, let's see. Um, Sugar Lips Bossy. Are you looking for me? You want to join the Thieves Guild? Yeah, see, exactly. Wow, you were very open about this. Um, huh. Uh, what is it? Uh, I don't know. Do I want to? You look like you have. You may have some skill. You want to join, or maybe you want to know what we're all about. Let's hear the rules, I suppose. Just remember, there is honor among thieves. Do not steal from a brother thief. Everyone else is a mark. Do not attack a brother thief. Do what you will to everyone else. If you have a price on your head, we have ways of taking care of it. If you break these rules, you must speak with one of the masterminds here in Morrowin to rega regain your good standing. Think you can handle it? Hmm. I don't know. Is Andil into thievery? I mean, he's obvious. And I don't think so. I wouldn't say so because... I wouldn't say Andal's really, you know, against the law or anything. You know, he's not, he's not against taking advantage of people necessarily, or, but I don't know if, I don't know if thieving would be below him. I don't know. I'll think about it. Give it, give it time. I'll, I'll think, I'll consider it. And I really don't have the skills to do that sort of thing. But I will consider it. Only he stands there. Is that so? Well, if I had Fusro Da, we would say otherwise, but I suppose since, um. I suppose since Marwind AI will pretty much keep him there. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. Wow, what a high lock chest right next to you, my dude. What do you have? Hello, Andil. I'm Only He Stands There, and this is Belmore. I don't feel like that's a real name. I don't believe we've met. Is there something I can do for you? Yes, what do you barter? What? I don't offer any services. Who told you that? Alright, I see how it is. Alright, fine. Bacola? Nope. Bacola? No. You, I don't think you're gonna be Bacola. I think he's probably upstairs if memory serves correctly. Oh, I should have actually rented a bed while I was down there. Never mind. I don't even know if you can here, though. Oh, yeah, room door. Okay, never mind. Definitely looks like you can. Hello, Bacola. Good day, I'm Bacola Colosius, publican of the South Wall here in Balmora. We rent beds, and I have a limited selection of goods for barter. If you're new here, I can also tell you where to look for other services or a specific place nearby. If you're looking for someone in particular, I might be able to help. Yes, uh, I'm looking for Caius Cassides. Old Caius rents a little bed and basket just up the hill on the north edge of town. Got the front door, not the upper door, to the terrace. Then right up the stairs, then left at the top of the stairs and down to the end of the street. Great. Do you have beds? Yes, we have one available. It's ten gold for the rest of the day. Do you want it? Absolutely. Sorry, doesn't look like you can afford it. What? Do I really not have ten gold? Ah, oh, for fuck's sake. I did use it all, didn't I? Hold on. Hold on. I can get gold. I can get gold. Let's not worry about that. Ten gold. How silly. How silly of me to not have ten gold. I mean, if I go see Caius, I'm pretty sure I get gold, but... Uh, my character doesn't know that, so I'm gonna go... to a certain vendor that I may or may not know of. You know, I heard I heard his name thrown around at the bar while I was there, you know. We'll just say that. And uh, I heard he he he'll buy moon sugar and skooma for a fair price. So, yeah. Yeah, we'll just uh go over there. A certain uh, Khajiit fellow. Ah, yes. Oh, what? Since when do the I didn't think they locked doors at night. God damn it. Alright, I guess we're joining the uh, Fighters Guild to sleep. For fuck's sake, man. Yeah, I guess we will. 
Hello. Welcome to Balmora, council seat of House Halalu. How can I serve you? Let's see. Fighters Guild, Fighters Guild. Um Did I join the Imperial Cult? No, that's right. They also cost gold to join. Bloody hell. Um I don't think I can join from you. I think she's upstairs, isn't she? Yeah, you. Hello. Well, speak up, High Elf. What do you want? Are you here to join the Fighters Guild? Uh, yes, that is exactly what I'm here for. You look like you could take care of yourself. Before I sign uh, you up, you might want to take a look at the Fighters Guild Charter. Are you ready to sign up now? Well, give me the Charter. Your duties are to your lords and brethren. In all ways, proceed with honor and valor. Keep a keen and watchful mind, and never succumb to the craven tricks of the weak. As a member, you are permitted to use items in our equipment chest. It is traitorous to fight or thieve from any other member of your guild. If you break these rules, you must speak with at least a warden of the guild to redeem your standing. Do you feel you can uphold these simple ideals? You bet. You are now Andal, the associate in the Fighters Guild. Work hard, follow orders, and you'll do just fine. Seek me out if you feel you are ready for advancement. I, I feel I'm ready for advancement right now, quite frankly. Your talents are noteworthy, but yeah, okay. Fair enough. Uh, orders then. I have a very simple contract and an infestation of cave rats. You might be able to handle it. Alright, give it to me. Go to uh, Draren Thales house. It's here in Balmora, along the river on the east side. Ask her where the rats are coming from, kill the rats, and get your payment from Draren Thales. Report back to me once you've taken care of this. Yes, the first quest in the Fighters Guild. I kind of want to do other quests, not, um, or other Fighters Guild quests not based out of Balmora, just because I've done these quests so many times that, um, I, I really want to do them elsewhere, like in Vivek or... I don't even know where else there, there's there's fighter guilds scattered around, but I can't remember the names of all the places. Like I think one's Aldrun has a fighter's guild. We could probably do one there, do a few quests. But um, great, great, that's that's fantastic. I actually just came here to sleep. That's really the only reason why I'm here right now. Steel tower shield. Why is that so shiny? What the fuck? Is that, is that OpenMW doing some weird things to my graphics? Because that is weirdly shiny. What do you have? You barter. Oh, great. And you don't mind... Oh, you just don't buy it. Why does... Why does an Imperial-based guild not care that I'm carrying skooma and moon sugar, but random vendors care so much, like the Thieves' Guild? Like, for fuck's sake, what... <laughs> What is happening here? Holy shit. That is that is silly as fuck. Homilies of Amalexia, you don't buy that. Well, what do you fucking buy? Probably weapons and armor, eh? Eh? I guess we have nothing to do with you then. Good day. I shall go sleep now, thank you. I suppose tomorrow we'll go find Caius and then we will... Oh, wow. What the hell? This room seems different. I could have sworn these were double stacked. Boy, some things have definitely changed from the last time I played this. Yeah, I'm, this is the only bedroom. Huh. Yeah, I'm pretty sure these were, um... Double stacked before. But, whatever. Whatever. And who are you? Hello? So your name is Andil. And you're new here in Balmora. Well, my name is Flania Amulusus. Sure. And I don't mind answering questions. I have nothing else on my mind right now. And if you start to bore, if I start to bore you about Morrowind lore, just let me know. All right. Um. Sure. Give me some information about Morrowind lore. In Talvani District, the few Talvani Tower towns are just big villages with wizard towers. Okay, I don't know that's necessarily lore, but I'll take it. Sure. Alright, let's sleep. It's 11 p.m. already, for fuck's sake. Let's just sleep until healed, I suppose. About 9 hours. Should put it about 8 a.m., yep. 
Not bad. Alright. Now then. Let's go find Caius. Have a little chat with him. It is a gloomy day, but uh, we don't have any any dust storms. So uh, that's good. Though I don't think you get them this far down. I think you have to be closer to Red Mountain for that to happen. Or Ash Storm. My bad. It's Ash Storms, not Dust Storms. We're not in a desert. Okay. Let's see, we have the first mission for the Fighters Guild there. I just fire I told me to talk to Draren Thelis about some rats that have infested her house. Her house is here in Balmora on the east side of town near the river. Luckily for us, we are on the east side of town, so it's probably one of these houses. Speaking of which, it is this one. That's pretty good luck. Partially um, out of game knowledge there, but uh, never mind that. Hello, Draren. Are you the one they sent to take care of the cave rats? Yes. These rats are such a nuisance. I'm worried they'll eat all of my pillows. You like pillows, don't you, Andil? Anyway, I've got some. Uh, I got one trapped in my bedroom here, and the other two are in my storage area upstairs. Rats, that is, not pillows. Here's the key. <laughs> yeah, because that was in question. Here's the key for the door, uh, and there are at least three of the beasts. I hope they haven't gotten to my good pillows. My pillows. My goodness. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Yes, we have a pillow fanatic. For whatever reason, I'm pretty sure all of these are like filled with pillows. No, not these ones. Oh, there we go. We got pillows. We got pillows. I don't know how she fit four pillows in there. I she could kill that guar. Those boots are ruined. You sure your pillows aren't ruined? Because uh, your boots look fine. I'm just saying. I don't know why you would have an issue with your boots being ruined. Oh, wow. Alright. <laughs> Jesus. Open the door and there's just a rat anxious to kill me. Amazing. Amazing. Okay. Jesus Christ, yeah. I'm surprised she doesn't have, like, a body pillow just draped over the bed of some, you know, with, with a, a print of some sexy Dunmer on it, right? You know, I wouldn't be surprised. Sounds like something she would do. Alright, well, I took care of one. I suppose, um, here, I'll dispose of the corpse for you. Magically disappears. See? No problem. Alright, and upstairs are the other ones. So, I suppose we'll get a skeleton at the ready. And let's go, skeleton! Die, foul creature! Oh my god, these things hit very often. God damn. Well, that was lucky. You actually, we actually killed them at the same time. Well, alright then. There we go. Dealt with. No problem. Oh, hello. Well, you know, don't mind if I do. I didn't say I was maybe above stealing, but I don't know. I don't know when it's this close and tempting. Ah! No. Maybe. I don't know. It would be interesting. I haven't done the Thieves Guild yet, so maybe I will join the Thieves Guild and say fuck it. Fuck it. You know? Why not? I think that's probably what we'll do. Maybe uh, Andal will, you know, morph into that type of person after being thrown in jail for so long, you know. I like to think that's maybe... That's probably not how that works, but you know. You know. You know, for the, for the sake of um, the story here, I guess. Yeah, hello? You wanna turn around or... Don't worry, I'll, I'll just walk over to you. Alright, yes, Andal, can I help you? Oh, I don't know, I killed the cave rats for you. I'll take your word that the cave rats are dead. Here, take these 100 septums. It's what I agreed to pay the Fighters Guild. Great. Thank you very much. I needed the money. 
May I help you? Nope. I I just helped you actually, so unless you want to give me more free gold to kill very weak creatures, which actually actually did do a little sliver of damage to me. But not to worry. Not to worry, we have plenty of magicka to use. Would be kind of nice to find a, a new spear here. Alright, so this should be Caius's house, because we did come up there and uh, down left, down at the end of the, you know, alley, if you want to call it. The street, anyway. Not much of a street, but you know. Caius Cassades. Hello, my dude. How's it going? What? Yes, I am Caius Cassades. But what do you mean you were told to report to Caius Cassades? What are you talking about? Oh, I don't know. That's just what they told me when I got off the ship, man. I'm just just following orders so I don't end up back in jail. So, you say your name is Andil, and you've been told to report to me and deliver a package. Perhaps you'll let me look at it. Nah, nah, dude. That's not happening. <laughs> I, I, hmm. I am curious what happens. Hold on. Can I just... <sighs> I'm very curious what happens if you say no. But I don't want to have to quick save because then my save is a long... Ah, all right. Never mind. I'm concerned that it's just gonna like break the main quest, and I just don't want to have to reload back to the beginning of this video because uh, I haven't saved in 20 minutes. All right. Uh, yes. Very interesting. So it says here the emperor wants me to mentor you, and that means you'll be following my orders. Are you ready to trust me and follow my orders, Andil? I suppose so. Yep. Good. Welcome to the service, novice Andal. You are now a member of the Imperial Blades, where the Emperor's hidden eyes and ears in the provinces. We march, or we watch the Emperor's enemies. We look for opportunities. We make reports, and when the Emperor commands, we obey. Great. What else? Hello. Game. Thank you. I'm the Imperial Spymaster for Morrowind, and since I'm the ranking Blades agent in Morrowind, you report to me. Follow my orders, obey our rules, and you'll do fine. You can use my bed if you need to rest, but leave my personal stuff alone unless I say otherwise. If you like, you can improve your modest skills with our Blade Trainers for now. Uh, or if you're in a hurry, I can give you orders right away. But don't forget to visit the Blades Trainers. Um, well, tell me about the Blades Trainers then. These Blades agents offer training. Not free, of course, but cheap for a fellow agent. Look for Rithalin, Tamirlian, and Ninetoes here in Balmora. And Caldera, see Saran Leorin. In Aldrun, see Gildan, Shvori. Shvori. Wow. Shorvar Horsemouth. Shorvar Horsemouth. There we go. Had to get that, like, J. It's supposed to be like a Y sound, I guess. Since it's like, I guess, almost Nordic and German. Or something like that. Sjorvar Horsemouth lives in a hut west of Aldrun. And Elone the Scout can be found in Ariel's Trade House in Sedanin. Fantastic. Uh, what orders do you have for me then? First thing, Pilgrim, you're new, and you look it. Here's 200 drakes. Go get yourself a decent weapon, or armor, or a spell. And second thing, you need a cover identity. Around here, freelance adventurer is a common profession. Sign on with the Fighters Guild, or Mages Guild, or Imperial Call, or Imperial Legion. Advance in the ranks, gain skill and experience. Or go out on your own, look for freelance work or trouble. Then when you're ready, come back and I'll have orders for you. Alright, that seems fair. Uh, Imperial Cult, Imperial Legion, Mages Guild. Tell me about these two. The Imperial Legion has several fort garrisons here in Vardenfell. The lower ranks handle law enforcement, escorts, rescues, dangerous predators, diseases, and blighted beasts. And so forth. One fort accepts recruits, Fort Darius and Nisus. Nisus is a frontier outpost, isolated a little rough. But, uh, good experience. If you're interested, see General Darius in Nisus. Alright, I don't know how far Nisus is. If I remember correctly, I can actually take the Silt Strider there. We'll see. And a Imperial Cult. 
Imperial Cult worships the Nine Divines, the Aedra, Akatosh, Dibella, Arche, Xanathar, Mara, Stendar, Kinnereth, and Julianos, and Tiber Septum. Founder and patron of the Empire. In Morrowind, it's partly maintained the faith for outlanders like us, and partly a missionary cult, bringing enlightenment to the heathen Dunmer. You can see Somidius Vunius at Fort Moonmoth to join, but you have to go to Ebonheart if you want to become a lay servant. What is the difference between a lay servant and actually joining? You can see Somidius Vunus at Fort Moonmoth. Is that not in... I... I f is that in fucking... Solstheim? Or is that here? Moonmoth Fort is a legion, Imperial Legion garrison southeast of Balmor. Oh, no, no, no. It's that... Yeah, it's the one out of the gate, if I remember correctly now. Yeah, okay. Um, just outside of town. Red Hard Heart, that's a name, is the knight in charge. Between the Imperial Legions and the Imperial Cult staff, they have about a dozen service providers out there. Okay. So, I think I want to join both of these. Just to, like I said... At the beginning of this let's play kind of give a certain guise to what we're really doing since we are a necromancer and i think we'll join the thieves guild and there's also some other guilds i think if i ask him about it he'll actually tell me is there a guild option or do i have to talk about blades first we're spies and loyal to the emperor to be named to the blades by the emperor is a great honor but we're only one of many guilds and factions there we go in Marwan. You should know a little bit about Marwan politics before you get involved with any of these groups. Then let me in educate me on these groups then, please. Okay, we've got the Blades, Imperial Cult, Imperial Legion, Fighters Guild. We've already joined, but I mean, we'll hear what he has to say about it. Fighters Guild is a professional organization chartered by the Emperor to regulate and the hiring and training of mercenaries. Training goods Training goods and services are cheaper for members, and the guild steward know where to find work. You have to start your service with Idis Fireeye, the Valmora guild steward. She's new, and I don't know her well. Perseus Mercius, uh, the Aldrune guild steward, I know and trust, but he only handles higher ranking assignments. Right, so I have to wait till higher rank to actually go see him. Alright, uh, Magus guild then. I suppose we'll probably be joining that as well. You do join a lot of guilds in this game. It's a guild for the arcane arts, and it's where you go to find wizards for hire. Training goods and services are cheaper for members. Yep, guild stewards know where to find work. Okay. If you want to be a wizard, join and work your way up the ranks. Mage guild here is better bet than the fighters guild. Rainus Athreus is the guild steward, so talk to her if you want to join. She's got a chin chip on her shoulders, but her apprentice... A year, a year, seems okay for a Khajiit. Wow, that sounded a little racist, but okay. Uh, let's see. House Redder and Hus. Uh, Morag Tong. The Morag Tong is a guild of executioners and assassins, completely legal and guided by a strict code of conduct. It's an ancient Dunmer society steeped in tradition. But I know, but I know and respect a few Westerners who belong to the Morikton. They are nothing like the Dark Brotherhood. I have no idea how to join them. Yes, the Morikton. I'm thinking the Morikton would be interesting to join, just because you know legal assassination is fucking awesome. But at the same time, I don't really know how to join them, so that'll be a learning experience right there. Let's see, I'm pretty sure there is a Morag Tong guild hall here, which you might be able to pick up some information about how to join them there, but I don't really know. I don't know, Thieves Guild. In the rest of the Emperor, the Thieves Guild, in the Empire, the Thieves Guild is a more or less organized group of local criminal syndicates governing illegal trade in their communities. Here in Marwen, the Thieves Guild is the newcomer. The established local crime lords are called the Kamanatong. The Thieves Guild doesn't advertise partly to avoid the law and partly to avoid Kamanatong, who have sworn to destroy the upstart thieves guild 
Shirgalip Sabasi over at the South Wall and is the local guild boss. Gotcha. Yeah, that would explain why she's so open about it, though I don't know I would be that open to rent up strangers. Would you like to join our illegal guild of thieves? And the fact that you know about it's a little... A little strange, but I guess you are a spy master, so fair enough. Fair enough, I suppose. Um, the temple. The tribunal temple is a native religion. They worship three god kings, Amalexius, Othasil, and Vivek, who are known together as the tribunal. We usually just call it the temple. They're narrow-minded and superstitious, but I find a lot to be to admire, particularly their concern for the poor. They accept outlanders as members, but few outlanders join join except for the services. Talk to Feldro Sadri at the Balmore Temple if you're thinking of joining. I don't think so. No, I don't think so. Oh man, so much reading. <laughs> oh. All right. Let's go. Got a couple more here. House Redoran. Let's go. House Redoran is one of the three great Dun Dunmer great houses of Vardenfell. A very serious and honorable bunch. It's difficult for an outlander to join and rise in their ranks. But the great houses are where the power lies in Marwin. Talk to the Redoran counselor if you want to become a Redoran retainer. House Halalu. House Lalu is one of the three Dunmer Great Houses of Vardenfell. They're a loyal supporters of the Empire, open-minded in religious and cultural matters, and greedy and ambitious in the best imperial traditions. It's difficult to rise in their ranks as an outlander, but the Great Houses hold the power in Morrowind. Talk to Halalu counselors if you want to become a Halalu retainer. Hmm. And then House Telfani. Is one of the three great Dunmer houses in Vardenfell. Their nobles are thousand-year-old wizards. Telvani are supposed to hate politics, foreigners, and just about everything else. But the Vardenfell Telvani are apparently more ambitious and adventurous than most. I don't know much about them, but they do hire Western mercenaries, and some even rise to higher ranks. Talk to Telvani counselors if you want to become a Telvani retainer. Gotcha. I'm kind of tossed on what uh, what house we should join. I don't really know. Because while Tolvani would be great, you know, I pretty... Andal was, you know, part of the Mage's Guild back in... back in Tamriel before being jailed. And he'll probably join... Actually, I don't think he will join the Mage's Guild again simply because of that. Yeah, I don't think we're going to join the Mage's Guild because... Quite frankly, we have a bad past with them, and we don't want anything to do with them. Seeing how they are more monitoring than other groups would be of sort of magical things like necromancy. So, and obviously they are against necromancy. However, House Telvani. That might be an interesting house to join, because... I think they will be... I'm not sure... I think they'll be more open-minded towards necromancy. I'm really not entirely sure about that. Don't want to jump to the conclusion that they would be. But who knows. Well, thank you, Caius. It's very kind. We have a little bit of gold to spend now. So, yeah, we've got quite a bit of information out of him. She heard me say that. Well, if you said it okay, near her, and you just... Really? Really now. <laughs> oh man. <sighs> NPCs in Morrowind. What the hell was I saying? Man, I can't even remember. I don't know. We got information out of Caius now. A, a good chunk of information. And, um. I, I think we're gonna head back to the Fighters Guild right now. Get a new job. We're not going to join the Mage's Guild, I've decided that. I'm tossed between which house I should really join, though, because House Telvani would be great. It would make sense for us to join it, and I think they'd be more open-minded to necromancy, though I don't... I'm not really sure, because if they're more steeped in, like, Dunmer culture, Dunmers are pretty much against necromancy. Except for the fact that, you know, they use it to guard their tombs, but apparently that's okay. But, um... 
Yeah, they're kind of like, against it, and I don't know how Talvani feel about it. That's the only thing. Yeah, we'll see. I guess depending on how they feel about it will depend on whether or not we actually uh, do that. Alright, we got some hammers now. Can I repair anything? Yes, I can actually do that. Went through all of my hammers. That was lucky. I do have repair tongs still, but... Yeah. Just barely made through that. Yeah, that's what happens when you have very low skill in armor. Alright. I've done the task. Are you here for orders or advancement, associate? Or was there something else you wanted? Is there advancement? The Fighters Guild recognizes you, Andel. You're now Andel the Apprentice. Amazing. Okay, give me some new orders. I have a very simple contract to end an infestation of rats. What? I've done that. So you killed the rats, Andel? Not bad for you. Not bad for you. Are you ready for more orders? Yes. A local egg mine has problems with egg poachers. Are you going to solve these problems? Sure. Yes, egg poachers. May sound silly, but these quarma eggs are among the few things worth exporting from this nasty little province. Drom Barrow, the owner of Shulk Egg Mine, wants to make an example of these thieves to keep other miners from getting funny ideas. The egg poachers Savillo Othen and Danila Vallis are former egg miners and longtime local troublemakers. You can handle that, can't you? Report back when the poachers are dead. Where is this egg mine? The mine is a short distance southwest of Balmora in the bluffs west of the Odai River. The old suspension bridge across the Odai River is just southeast of the mine entrance. Follow the river south of Balmora until you see the bridge overhead. You're not afraid of a little swim, are you? No, no I'm not. I am certainly not. Alright, I'll, I'll, I'll do that then. Not a problem. But, first things first, I do wish to go ahead and buy some stuff. Yes, let me purchase. Do you have a spear? By chance. I would love to purchase your finest spear, my friend. Um... No, you don't. You have some steel armor, which I might be interested in. Am I wearing boots? I'm wearing shoes. Yes, let's buy some boots. And that'll cost 65. God damn. Should we buy pauldrons? Gauntlets? We'll buy a gauntlet. And we'll buy both pauldrons. Costing 208. Drains us. It's expensive. Alright. Let's drop this down by 20. I think that's... Typically you can drop it down by like 10%. Yeah, there we go. Alright, let's go ahead and equip all of this. Looking very nice with our extravagant robe. I'll keep it on just because it's kind of it's kind of disguising almost. It's like surprise motherfucker, I'm actually heavily armored. I just have this cloak which is I can you imagine having a cloak over your armor? Just just take just, just think about that for a second, alright? You'd have this cloak over this bulky ass armor. Oh, I can't move. Great. And uh, I, I just imagine it would be like... It would just be awkward on there. It would just fit so awkwardly on there. And uh, I am over encumbered. So take these repair tongs, I suppose. They do weigh a ton. Oh, what else? Fucking hell. Take these. Oh, you don't buy that. Ah. These weigh a lot. Can I actually drop these off down in your basement? Do you, do you mind if I do that? I'm probably gonna do that. I gotta be honest with you. Look, I just wanna move, game. Alright. Alright, you know what? You know what? I'm not dropping them in the basement. I'm gonna drop them right here. Right there. See that? See what happens? Oh, I dropped the Olympic here. Hold on. Give me this. We're gonna leave these right here. And, um... If they are taken when I get back... Someone is going to die. That's that's all I have to say. If, if they are gone when I get back, someone will die. Alright? Keep that in mind. 